Taro has got a reputation of being evil. Taro is demonic. Taro reading is like communicating with demons. You know, all that bullshit. As you can tell by my tone and the entire theme of my channel, I love Taro. And I know it's not evil. There are a lot of misconceptions and myths about Taro and I wanted to debunk them, clear some things up, especially for those of you who are new to Taro, who are interested in it, but are kind of overwhelmed with all of the misinformation out there. And also for all of you who have to deal with persecution and prejudice about your tarot practice. Hi, I'm Ruby here to help improve your tarot practice through my tarot chats and deck reviews. Let's start with myth number one, which is that tarot is evil and that you communicate with demons and therefore it is dangerous. Every tarot reader has a different relationship and view on what tarot reading exactly is, how it works, but I see it as trying to gain insights and guidance into a certain situation and gain advice from some divine being. And the answers are given through the cards. It is really not that different from Christianity and their prayers to a god. They kind of do the same, they also want more insights they also want guidance from God, but they don't receive the answers in cards. Reading tarot is like putting a mirror up to yourself and it's definitely confrontational, but not demonic and not dangerous. Myth number two, tarot reading is fortune telling. Now I definitely see how some people like to use tarot for predictive readings, but ultimately I don't believe that tarot can predict the future like step by step because I believe that tarot reads the current energies and that if you want to know something about a situation and you read the cards and it's picking up on the current energies around the the situation and there's still a thing such as free will people who are going to change their minds situations that are going to turn out differently that could could not have been expected could not have been predicted at this certain time so no tarot is definitely not fortune telling like i said it's way more like putting a mirror up to yourself receiving insights and guidance on a situation like you would do in a prayer myth number three you have to be psychic to read tarot now, there's definitely psychics who read tarot, but not every tarot reader is psychic. I personally don't think I'm psychic. I'm just really good at reading cards. <laughs> because when you have a deck of cards and you know all of the meanings of all the 78 cards and you put them together in a spread, there's nothing psychic that comes with that. Sure, I am listening to my intuition when I look at a card and I first of all know what the card means is the queen of wands i know what the queen of wands means and then i can also pick up on some symbology on the card itself i put those two together related to the question that i asked and related to the topic that it's about and that is how it all comes together in a reading at least that's how i read but i also know that some people are more psychic and they use the tarot as a starting off point for their psychic visions their the hearings the things that they can hear and for me that's not the same thing sometimes like a thought pops in to my head like a quote or something that i feel like i need to like quote but no you definitely do not have to be psychic you don't even have to be intuitive right off the bat when you start reading i definitely wasn't and now i have grown into my intuition started learning to trust my intuition trust my gut feeling and that has made me become a way better tarot reader hopefully by now you know that tarot reading is not evil and that can actually be uh, beneficial so if you want to get started with your own reading practice you can download my free tarot quick start guide link is in the description or if you're not really quite ready to start your own practice but you would like some general messages from the tarot then you can sign up for my mindful mondays it's also free and you get weekly messages journal prompts all that fun stuff myth number four tarot is fake <laughs> now i used to believe this one this is pretty much the only um, myth here on this list that I used to believe. Because I was not spiritual, I was not connected to my intuition at all, I was in a very atheist mindset and I thought there's no way that a stack of cards can tell me anything. But this one was quickly debunked when I got my first tarot reading. This was online in a YouTube video. I talk about this all the time. Jess from Bahati Life, she combined tarot with astrology. The reading was so on point. There was no way after that that I wasn't gonna be interested in tarot because it was just so accurate. And through my own experiences, this is just my own opinion, there's no way that tarot is fake because of all of the insights that I've gotten out of it, all of the times that tarot 
confronted me with my own thoughts, with my own beliefs, and how tarot has helped me build my confidence and become way more self-aware, critical of myself, and also critical about the intentions of other people, how I've been able to help other people through my tarot readings. Like I said, there's no way that tarot is fake because there's no way that all of that could have happened for me without tarot. It's like when people say that God is fake for Christians. And I feel like if Christians genuinely keep having spiritual experiences and communicate with God and they feel the God's presence, then the God is not fake. It might not exactly be God as they picture him like in the bible but that doesn't mean that that spirituality and that divine being that that's fake i hope that that makes sense now for myth number five is that some tarot cards are scary bad and dangerous now they're thinking of the death card they're thinking of the devil card might be thinking of the tower maybe the ten of swords something like that three of swords and i'm here to tell you that tarot every single tarot card reflects parts of life and it's also not meant to be literal but to take as a metaphor like death it's not actual death it's a metaphor what does death translate to it's a transformation it's an ending that allows for a new beginning it's it's very dramatic because they're using the metaphor of death but that symbolizes a dramatic ending of something so that there's going to be room for more even in the card of the death card you can see that yeah there's the character of death but then in the background you can see a, a sort of a portal a like opening up the sunshine of a new place so there's better times ahead and this ending needs to happen if you want to get to the better place even the devil what does the devil represent it represents distractions unhealthy habits so pulling the devil card is not a bad thing because it shows you it confronts you with something unhealthy that you have been doing and it wants you to reflect upon that and it wants you to improve yourself with that because if you are not seeing it for yourself if you are intentionally ignoring that part that's worse than pulling the devil card getting your nose like right onto that <laughs> and improving things so yeah every single card reflects a part of life that reflects something in our life so if you pull a card it's not dangerous there's nothing bad that's gonna happen to you but it encourages reflection from yourself onto your life now that you've been calmed down and know that tarot is not evil not dangerous you might want to know how to get started with your own tarot practice you can click the video on the screen right now to to watch that subscribe if you want to see more tarot chats and deck reviews but for now thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye